Welcome back to The Ed Show. Thanks for watching tonight. John McCain has been embarrassing himself on national television, and it looks like he has no intention of stopping. McCain's role on the Senate Armed Services Committee has given him the opportunity to grandstand over the administration's response to the attack on Benghazi. Uh, he has been lobbying to establish a special Watergate-style select committee on intelligence on the matter. Of course, McCain undermined his own effort when he skipped the congressional briefing on Benghazi to hold a news conference demanding answers on the subject. Uh, to make matters worse, McCain blew up at a reporter who dared to question him about his absence. McCain's idea of a Watergate-style panel suggests the Obama administration has been involved in some kind of a cover-up. But top intelligence Intelligence officials tell NBC's Andrea Mitchell they kept their unclassified talking points for Susan Rice deliberately vague to avoid in part any future legal proceedings. And some of McCain's own Republican colleagues say that there is no reason to create a special committee. So why is McCain doing this? As the Huffington Post points out, in January, Senator McCain from Arizona will lose his top ranking committee seat. The only ranking Republican spot available to him next session will be on the Indian Affairs Committee. The creation of a special committee would give McCain the opportunity to stay relevant and create more problems for the President of the United States who defeated him in 2008. To prove just how disconnected from reality this man is, McCain is now demanding UN Ambassador Susan Rice go on television and apologize for the way she characterized the Benghazi attacks. Maybe she could start out by publicly coming back on this show and saying, I was wrong. I gave the wrong information on your show some several weeks uh, ago. That might be a beginning. Let's bring in editor and publisher of The Nation magazine, Katrina Vanden Heuvel. I mean, I just found that comment after the Intelligence Committee meetings on Friday, that comment on Sunday by John McCain, outrageous. Why is he attacking Susan Rice like that? I think there are a number of reasons. I, I think he's trying to stay relevant, as you said. I think this is a president. That's who they're aiming at, he and Lindsey Graham. I think they're doing the uh, carrying the water of Fox and the Fox-fueled hysteria about the attacks on Benghazi. But this reminds me of the Republican flight from reality, the post-truth politics Mitt Romney engaged in. When, remember he would travel around the country saying President Obama did an apology tour traveling the world? Mm -hmm. This guy, uh, Senator McCain, keeps talking about the danger of America's light footprint. Deal with substance in this and not just these unverifiable calls McCain has made about weakness and light footprint. I think we need to look squarely at U.S. foreign policy in the region. And what John McCain and Lindsey Graham are doing is a great disservice to America because they're distracting us from confronting the extraordinary new challenges we face in North Africa and in the Middle East with this stuff, with this partisan witch hunt. And that flight from reality, Ed, is at the heart of the current GOP. I took office in 2009. The Republicans were up against a president who was very popular, coming off a historical election. And nobody really went after him except Dick Cheney. Dick yes, Cheney, yeah. for the first four months, was out, he was out there saying that we're not on a war footing, that he doesn't understand security, that Absolutely. we're less safe. And it seems like John McCain is now taking on this role. Find anything you possibly can and, and, and just throw it, throw at, it the at the president. Throw it at the wall, throw it at the president. Um, you know, the Republicans have, they, they, they don't have a lot of maneuvering room, to be honest, Ed, because the president, though he has ended the war in Iraq and is winding down the war in Afghanistan, the president has, for a lot of progressives, been, you know, has backed, backed away from a sane national security policy and his counterterrorism policies are ones that McCain should like in many ways. If you want a select committee to investigate our national security, do it on a number of frameworks, but not Susan Rice and what she said on Meet the Press, because if you look at her testimony, I mean, her interview, Ed, it was very cautious, and she was given talking points by the CIA, and if anyone understands intelligence briefings and how intelligence works, it used to be John McCain until he decided this was gonna become a political witch hunt for him. Don't get where he's heading, except that a Republican Party wants to go after the president mm -hmm. on this front. Early days of the Iraq war, it was McCain who used to complain about intelligence reports, saying that he would go to them and listen to them, but then he'd pick up the Washington Post and he'd see everything that they had talked about in the intelligence briefing the day before. I mean, he used to complain about that, so he can't have it both ways. Yeah, but the irony is also the hypocrisy here, because think of the rank hypocrisy that you have Lindsey Graham and John McCain, who are ardent supporters of Condi Rice, mm. and her misuse 
abuse of intelligence, which when she talked about Saddam Hussein and his nuclear program, that campaign of misinformation constructed by Dick Cheney, followed on by Condi Rice, led us, lied us into a war. This we can't afford again. So this, these Republicans talking about oh, the danger of a light footprint, no apology tour, have no sense of a real security policy that this country needs. Same playbook, different year. That's where we're at. Katrina, great to have you Thank with you. us tonight. Thanks Thank so you. much.